Hi guys, my name is Rachel White. I'm a JFK assassination researcher and I want to just uh, give you a quick uh, update and a, a quick message to correct myself. Um, as you know that I always say that I will correct myself if I find myself having said something not quite right. So in, in this video, I want to um, come back and say, uh, in an earlier video, I said, said to you that Jackie Kennedy hadn't given evidence at the Warren Commission. She'd never been questioned. That, in fact, is is uh, not the case. She did. Um, she was interviewed by uh, Rankin uh, for the Warren Commission and, and spoke to them for around seven or eight minutes. So it's, uh, I just want to make that clear that it's the Dallas police that she never uh, spoke to, which she should have done. She should have been questioned as a witness on the same afternoon. They should have taken her in for questioning. They should have had her story from her uh, fresh off the press. They should have, um, you know, not allowed her to uh, go, go anywhere. They should have had her... Uh, downtown in a room with her in you know with the interviewers and uh, they should have questioned her for what she had seen what she had heard or what she had witnessed in that limousine uh, to get to the bottom of what exactly had happened to JFK that didn't happen but she was later questioned by the Warren Commission and uh, as we say the 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 uh, uh, Rankin uh, directs that questioning for around seven or eight minutes. Now, on review of that, it's really quite interesting there um, what uh, was discussed. And she gives her account and he um, talks about when she climbed out of the car. We've all seen this on the Zapruder film, that she climbs out of the car, she retrieves part of Jeff K's skull and she is then kind of ushered back into the car by Clint Hill, who's jumped on the back at this stage. And it's very interesting to me that she states in her testimony that she does not remember doing that. Now, I find that um, quite amazing um, that you wouldn't remember that physical action. And uh, I believe that she's telling them that she doesn't remember that so that they then don't question about why she did that. Um, she's also talking in that uh, deposition, in that interview, about um, how she uh, read certain things and was confused and now understands different things. Which, which to my mind, is very, very um, strange and odd because it, it, she was there. She was right next to JFK. Why does she want to read things and um, get clarification from other people's accounts. She was the closest one to him. She, above all people, know exactly what had occurred in that limousine on that day. Why is she being confused by things that she's then subsequently reading? And so you can see that her testimony to the Warren Commission um, actually is is pretty worthless because what I'm seeing here is a conversation that they have had to feel that they had to have, but it's very much directed. It's directed and it is um, a funneled conversation whereby if she just says, oh, I don't remember that point, I don't remember about that, um, they're not going to go down that road of questioning. It's, fa it's fairly obvious to me what's gone on here so i just wanted to bring that clarification and explain a little bit more about it and um have a good day